about to start. Um, thank you for your time. Um, so what we'll do, we'll start with questions from the floor. I can just ask that you introduce yourself and which publication or entity you're from. And then once we're done, we'll, we'll move over to virtual. So we've got Emirates Lions head coach Ewan Conway and captain Jakob Creel. Can you take from the floor, Ati? Ati and Kosi Kosi from the Soviet. We have just a question for you. Um, as the players, um, the last few weeks have been tough. Uh, how is the thing really, the morale, the thing to change the rules? As you as the captain, how have you taken upon the results that you uh, guys have uh, sort of got to this possibility? Uh, yes, um, losing four games in a row is never easy. And I think of any team business, uh, morale will be a bit down. So we try during the week to, to pick the boys up, to restart in the week and just to, to clean, clean sheet and learn out of, our, out of our mistakes. So I believe as a leadership group, we must just keep on working on that. There's a lot of young guys in, the, in, the, in our team, in the system, that, that, that must learn from this and gain experience from this. And it's our job as seniors to, to show them how to get through tough times. Because uh, yeah, life goes up and down, and that's just the way it is. And yeah, we looking to go to, to an upward, up, upwards curve again. Can you one more thing? Um, just one for Cash. Um, Cash, you guys are doing the game. Uh, there were moments where you entered their half, but then you could not uh, sort of convert into the uh, three points or seven points. Uh, how do you then go about uh, playing in terms of um, making sure that you, when you enter the uh, position, start to the two, you make sure you come back with points on that? Yeah, unfortunately, I think that's the, the story of, of the game. I think we had six or seven 20 team entries and we couldn't come away with, with, with a single point out there. But, um, how do you address it? How do you fix it? To repetition and put the players under the pressure to, to under that pressure, keep on developing and, and uh, reacting to it. So for us, um, a couple of them were, were our, our mistakes. Uh, rack reaction not good enough. Uh, probably ball carrier, not clinical enough by keep, just keeping his hands on the ball, fighting hard enough for the ball. And some of it was, I mean, John Freer, I think, was exceptional. Um, so we got to we got to put them under that pressure um, in the week. That's the only way we can sit back and wait for Saturday after Saturday. To, to, um, it was it was for tough training weeks. This the, the, the previous the last four weeks um, for exactly that reason. Because we knew we we played only against South African teams. That means it's always good set piece, tactically, um, always a pressure game. Physical battle. The next, the next ten games is, is foreign, foreign opposition, and that's a different, different scenario itself. That's a chance. Um, Cash, I think we know in the URC how important it is to vary your game in terms of tactical thinking as well. It's a very important facet, you know, of your game and in the competition itself. But were you a bit disappointed by how reflexive it felt a bit, you know, in this game? I mean, not necessarily that, that it wasn't on to kick, but the execution was rather lacking. And I love the score was, but you know, not necessarily space, but easy, easy catches and that type of thing. You know, Hans, I think, considering a try from a from goal on dropout, that is disappointing. Um, they carried up once and then they beat us. And that, is, that is just not good enough, to be honest. Um, and then, I think there were two or three kicks that went out on the field. Um, like you said, when, when you're not accurate, Kicking game against Sergio and that lot for love, then, then they can punish you. Um, it almost feels like a like a turnaround from the game in Cape Town. Um, they played, they made mistakes, we kept to bust them today. And we made those mistakes and, and they kept to bust them. Yeah? Question for the coach. Um, given your recent record, is this the time to look for the new or is it time still uh, to continue with what has worked for you um, to reinforce the, 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 the policies and the Good question, and I think it's probably a bit of both. Um, there is stuff that is really improving, and then there is stuff that, that's just not improving. And sometimes that is a system, a system thing, and sometimes you've got to reflect and, and look whether it is a coaching element or play element or what it is. So I think it's, it's probably midway through the season, season for us. Um, we've got three days off. We're from the coaching side, we really got to reflect hard on what's really working for us, what's not working for us, what's still in the thorn in the shoe. Um, I 
don't think it's a bad time for Portland to change, whether it is <clears throat> play driven or whether it is how we play. Um, the majority of the games, 95% of the games, is as far as opposition and yeah. So it's, it is a bit, I'd say it's fair to say it's, it's time for, for one or two things to change. Walter? Um, uh, in the first 20 minutes, was a very bad photo of uh, the Lewis, but also of the Stormers. Uh, Where do you write people to and how do you make people to write? Well, I'm going to say that it's three good. It was like warm for us. The intensity was good for us. And the accuracy was good for us. I'm going to say that it's three good for us. So as I said, I said, Die wedstrijd eindelijk die rol begin, as jy dink het, binnen 10 sekonde is die skram 7 meter van die vinder positie af. En dan na die eerste, na die eerste pas en gauw het ons misgestel. Kan ons het meer, kan ons meer doen, as jy kan. Een tyk keer, ek denk, Manny Lubbock was letterlijk tussen André sy benen vers en dat met André daar, die straf op melk en 3-0 en jy draai om en die kleed uit aan die plaats van, jy maak die fout, jy raak frustreerd, eindig druk op, op jou team kreeg. So ek denk dit is een kombinatie tussen dus ek denk dat Jakob sê, dit is duidelijk dat ons kan voel ons het energie op die gevoel het energie en die conference is een beetje laag so dat die drie daar af dan gaan ons mens er toe en die dan sit dat sit die en al die mens is uit ons op reaks so goeie tijd vir ons om boeken te vat goeie tijd vir ons om die tweede pas van die competitie van vorig te vat so kan sê die maand sê die maand Thank you. En dan heb ik ook wel graag voor die kapitein dan Jacob, die van de senior spelers, die hebben jullie verantwoordelijkheid voor die druk wat jullie in direct op die afgevers, die bestuursplan, die plan is nog. En waar zijn die wanneer gaan die vrijpunt komt? Want als je nog niet naam van die wedstrijd hebt voor, jullie gaan ook drie naar die wedstrijd toe. En als er twee bezoekers zijn bij jullie, dan komen die volgende drie wedstrijden. Dan moet je ook die makkelijk in die competitie mee krijgen. Dat is wat ik heb begonnen. Het is een performance waar het zo of je bij of vleur was altijd druk. Het is logisch dat nog vier verloren en dan ga je is dat druk. Als jij die die eerste wedstrijd in die bal uit bal, denk ik al is toch steeds genoeg positief om te werken. Als dan goed van ons om te werken om die keer te worden. Ons is tegen zes maanden en die zeven maanden en die nieuwe bestuur en coaching stelsel en van van ons kant af is dit en die die verwachting en die die eigenige schiet voor ons wordt af om dit om die om die gaten om ze tijdens het product te maken. Is het zet ons zet ons in een kaartjes meeting of een spam meeting en zakken als ze moet voor de rug laten. Ons ons is niet is niet blind voor ons. Is eigenlijk als een groep met een met een mengsel tussen die jonge senior spelers. Ons weet ook dat al dat al fouten is wat er al in termen van skill errors en pressure errors en toen bedoelen ons waar verschillende kaarten aan en waar kanten zitten per tijdje. Kort jy nie daar een lakje bruik, daar een onderskep of die een al ding aan wat jy krijg om daar nie met om te zwaai. Want jy verseker as senior groepspelers te glo dat jy by die afwichters ondersteun, die laaste ding wat jy wil hee in die groep is scheiding tussen die spelers en die afwichters. En dit is glad nie wat gebeur nie, ons werk nog lekker saam, ons werk lekker hard saam. En met, soos wat ek vroeger genoem het, ons nog baie jongspelers. En soms, jy wil nie eerder jongspelers met in hulle doppe en kruip en nie speel soos hulle kan speel. So, as senior spelers vat jy eerder, jy is vat hierdie druk op jou, sorteer dit tussen die coaches uit en tussen die senior spelers uit en dan wil jy nie ouds laat speel. En waar ons systeem fout is, wil jy hier al moet verstaan en al moet groei daar uit. Ek meen, jy gaan nie net een dag we gaan rugby speel en het al die ervaring in die wereld nie. So hulle moet ook leer daaruit, hulle moet ook groei daaruit. Maar ja, dit is glad nie een verskoning om te verloor nie. Ons moet beter wees as een senior groep, as een spannend ons beter wees. 
Ek meen dat daar is een paar foute op die veld wat wat neerkom op personal responsibility. Jy sit hier ouders onder een ongelooflike druk. Hulle kan nie jou leer om nie die bal te mok of nie hulle eind van bal te vang of wat ook al het mag wees in die wedstrijd. En dis wat ons hulle moet ondersteun. Nee, verseker nie, ek het net ook pakkie van hulle gesê, daar is nie een makkelijke wedstrijd in die competitie nie. En vooral nie as jy tegen sikker een van die meest suksesvolste spanne in die competitie gaan speel volgende nie. En ek het ook van hulle gesê, ons gaan weg, en dit is hier die hele tyd vir die groep om by mekaar te kom, ons gaan lekker vir een week toer, maar daar is geen distractions nie, ja, want vir die woord, distractions nie, ons kan lekker by mekaar kom, ons kan, ons het baie tyd, ons is heel tyd saam, ons kan groei, en dit is hier die hele tyd om een kultuur te bouw. Of so anhou bouw. Happy? Kijk eens op. Alright guys, we're going to jump on line, look up, we kick us off. Okay, Jan. Thank you. Kevin, Yaku, I know it's not pleasant, but uh, and you're probably going to get very tired of this question. Uh, but we're back on defense. Uh, at the start of the season, first couple of rounds, you were sitting at the high 80s. Uh, and you spoke about a couple of weeks, and it's gotten worse throughout the season. You know, you missed more than 20 tackles, I think it's 22 or 25, if I've seen the stats correctly, and your tackle success rate is sitting at 75%. Um, when, when did you start talking about it, and when did you start fixing it? But, um, thank you, Jan. As I said earlier, um, yes, yeah, there's only so much that a, that a coach can do in, in terms of systems, and your defensive system. Um, I mean, a one-on-one -on -one tackle, Julian said it during the week, week, two killers meet, one must die. So a one-on-one -on -one tackle is an attitude thing. And uh, yeah, if you, if you miss a tackle, it's not a system or it's not a team, it's, it's between you and the other guy. So uh, in terms of missed tackles, uh, I think it's, uh, the guys must take personal responsibility in that and we must pride ourselves and, and be better. Thanks, Jan. But Yaku, we, we said the same thing a, a couple of weeks ago, and had, nothing has changed. Uh, may, maybe even, and I'm not uh, expecting you to, to criticize individuals, but you know, that, that attitude that you spoke of a couple of weeks ago doesn't seem to have changed, it seems to have gotten worse. Jan, so, sorry, um, I think if, if you look at the context sometimes, I think it starts currently for us, my, my immediate feeling after the game is um, it starts with not effective rucking and attack, losing ball, and then forcing us in, into, into scramble defense, um, and then stressing stressing us even more when, you, when it's just um, first phase, simple attack, uh, simple defense, if, if I can say that. And I think because we conceded so much turnover ball, um, it really put system plus individual um, under stress. And, and to, then, to then miss 20, um, is, is never ideal. Is I think if, uh, apart from from the, the goal line drop up, like I said earlier, where I mean that is inexcusable. Um, I don't think there was a considerable decline in, in, in the effort or, or the physicality there. It's, I think the, today was how he conceded that turnover, and then that really put us under stress. And finally, from me, uh, you actually touched on it earlier about playing the next game in Ireland. Um, th that's the most successful and toughest team in this competition. Um, I mean, how do you fix it? It's, I, I know you spoke about the character you can build a team you can get away, but you know, the, the fear or the, the dread is there that, that you might get a little bit of hiding you know, game away. Is, is that something you can fix in a week? I, th I think, speaking to Dobbo after, after the game now, um, he, he described a similar feeling to what I'm feeling what they felt um, back in Cape Town. Um, and I had a good discussion with him just around how did they feel then and how they're feeling now. Um, so I think that's a good example that it is it is fixable and, and, and I almost want to say quickly, I mean, I think the next game after after we gave them a good hiding there, they, they haven't lost since, since then. So uh, we, we have to take the positives from, from what's working and we have to fix through, through training and through responsibility and through 
honestly and maybe like like Liam asked, uh, one or two one or two um, personnel changes. But yes, it's 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 a great great challenge to go play Leinster in Ireland, which is just just look at the record, the, the most successful team by far in this competition. Um, even even though they're playing without um, uh, 12 or 13 Ireland players, um, I still think they are the informed team in the competition. So it's like I said earlier, the, the best way to learn is to experience it firsthand. Um, and again, not a lot of people, maybe from currently today's squad, uh, Yaku, Yanni, that's about it, that, that has played against teams of, of, of that caliber, whether it's the Crusaders, whether it's Leinster, or whether it's French teams. Um, so it's a great challenge for us, a great opportunity for us to, to go out there and, and really fix what, what we need to fix. Thanks, Jan. Nathan, that's your hands up. Uh, yes, thank you. Um, Cash, I'm lucky with, I've got two questions, one for the coach and one for the captain. Uh, Cash, I'm lucky with the loss, but uh, what do we guys be taking out of this game in terms of, in terms of the positives? It's difficult not to get over emotional in terms of, and, and say, uh, to, to get too negative, but again, I think our ball stop was good today. Um, the storm was really more well than the, the last three games. Um, I think we stopped them all well. Um, I think our, our scrum again functioned well. When we when we when we generated quick form and we actually held on to ball, we looked like a different team on attack. Um, and it's it's a couple of system system areas on defence. And like I say, I think I, I really think that. Our, our lack of the, the, the lack of ability to keep the ball put our defence under under a lot of strain today. So if we can keep the ball and manage to keep the ball and, and manage to keep the ball quick um, and, and keep us going on the front foot, I think we, we looked a lot different on attack in, in some stages today. More than anything. Um, Cash, um, just want to touch on the uh, question. Does it really help um, having that uh, next will be without? Uh, um, for international players uh, that we can really play against Leinster? I think their, their strength is, is their system um, and with the senior junior there you can see that um, all 25 or 50 of, of their players are very close together in terms of, of output, very close together in terms of, of system and understanding system and the way they want to play. Uh, so I think obviously they're a different team if you, if you add 12 or 13 internationals there but they still just looking at the game last night, they 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 a quality team um, that can put you under pressure through an attack, attacking game, defensive game, and a kicking game. Yeah, and then my last question is for uh, Yaku. Yaku, as a captain, was struggling, well, we're going to say a struggling side, but uh, what would your message be for you, for your players, especially the younger players in your system? Yeah, it's difficult, as I said earlier, to, to lose four in a row. Um, the heads drop quicker. During the week, when there's mistakes on the field, when there's mistakes, so for me, it's, uh, as I said earlier, for a, for the senior group, it's it's a massive challenge to to keep the uh, guys' body language up, to keep them positive, because as Cash said, if we do what we have to do, we actually look good, and uh, yeah, we we we're creating the opportunities, we're just not finishing it, and that's the frustrating part. So they mustn't, they, we as a whole mustn't look at all the negative stuff. Um, we must try and focus on the, on the positive stuff. And obviously we've got a lot of hard work um, lying ahead this the next two weeks. Uh, obviously the hard work is not just going to be two weeks. Uh, as a uh, whole as a union, uh, there's a lot of hard work. Thanks Nathan. Guys, we have to move quite quickly. So I'll take Ross and then Leighton. Thanks, sorry, just two quick ones from me. Um, Ivan, obviously, um uh, I sort of lost count of the amount of errors you guys made in that game, which was very disappointing. And, uh, you know, a couple of them were extremely uh, costly, you know. One in day 22 ended up with a seven-pointer and one in just the, uh, in your own half as well, seven-pointer against you, you know. How do you sort of try and uh, reduce errors? I know you can't have an error-free great game, but uh, the amount of errors was very disappointing and they often stopped you momentum-wise and ended up costing the big time. Yeah, Ross, exactly that is. Um, I think for us, a big learning is, is the simple options. Um, when, we, when, we feel, when we feel the pressure or when you have a, a 
carving the line out or serving me the scrum is spectacular. Is it always the, 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 the best outcome? To I think we're at a stage where the, the simple things um, is, is the more effective. So the last week or two we really spoke about it being, I know it sounds crazy, but being more simple because it, the, the more simple it is, the more clarity there is and then the, the more we can be on the same page. So um, like I said, that's, that's part of the learning and experience for, for a, lot of the, a lot of the guys in the change room, um, a lot of the youngsters has, hasn't felt pressure like this, um, hasn't played against the South African team uh, three, four games in a row, good quality. Yes, we can sit here and say we're missing six locks, but I mean, that's, that's no excuse. The, the guys didn't select the identical opportunity, and it's important for us to um, to keep on growing, keep on learning, and, and executing. Hold on, Thanks, Harry. Last one for me. Uh, uh, you mentioned the locks there. That was my next one. Obviously, the line outs have been a big, uh, big problem of the last few games. Any thoughts of uh, having a look in at some of the youngsters playing in the Curry Cup to uh, possibly come up and maybe try and fortify that position? Well, we would have loved to, but they're all injured. Um, that's literally the reality. Um, all three Curry Cup locks started trading again this week. I'm um, not trading, not not a full contact. So that's why I say using six locks in, in a question of three, four weeks um, is a concern. But like I said, I think Ruben Schumann is doing an unbelievable job to play 80, 80 and 80 out. Um, he's actually a four lock, playing five, calling nine outs. Um, so I think as character, um, that's that's massive for him. Um, we That's just where we are currently. We're playing just forwards um, at, at four lock. And, Luckily, there is one or two of the junior locks um, that should be ready and healed up by next week. Um, so it's important for them to, to play, to get a good Curry Cup game against the Sharks here, and, and then they will look um, in terms of team selection. Thanks, Ross. Later. Thanks, Nizo. Um, hi, Ivan. Hi, Yaku. Um, just to And I think it's a, it's a fine balance between just kicking the ball back and, and trying to, to reapply pressure. If you want to reapply pressure, the kick quality, the chase quality and the contest in the air is, is obviously vital. Um, with Jake, with Slavius today, I think we managed that well. We, we got a couple of 50-50s back. Um, but when the, when the quality or, or the chase isn't good enough, then, then you can get exposed. Um, I think it's a, it's a South African way of, of reapplying pressure. Um, but then then one or two or three of the dominoes need to fall in play for that for that to happen. Uh, for us, currently where we are, some of it is, is game plan and how we want to play, and some of it is, is also, also decision decision making, which we have to encourage uh, the guys out there to, to also make decisions. Um, they're not robots. They have to they have to have the ability to to play and, and see what's in front of them. Again, speaking speaking to to Nob afterwards, it's probably the one area which I think they've, they've really improved is the decision making to see when it's on and have a go and and when there's nothing nothing on uh, in front of kick space behind to take that and capitalize from there. So it is a work on for us. Thanks, David. Sorry, just last no, one. Yaku, 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 you've you've played the stormers um, over the span of uh, more than a decade, if if, uh, if I'm right. Um, just just how. Um, have the attack um, evolved over the last couple of years? Um, we know they've been a very defensive orientated team back in, in the past. They, they didn't let teams through, but, but it seems that they found that perfect balance of, of keeping teams out on the attack, but, but also knowing when to strike and, and how to strike. 
Yeah, I spoke to Kitsi after the game. I, I asked him exactly what coach said. Uh, what what did you guys change from the last time in Cape Town? And he, he told me uh, they just found a game plan or a recipe that works for them. Um, I mean, with that kind of backline, with that type of X factor, uh, you've got Mani and you've got Warwick that kicks left and right. So that's immensely difficult to to uh, to cover all the space at the back and to cover their counter-attack abilities and to yeah, to close the space as well. So just in terms of those two players, it may, makes it very difficult. And uh, if they don't find kick space, they obviously uh, find the running space. So that, that makes them a really good team and the forwards just give, give them a good platform. Thanks, Nathan. Guys, we'd like to wrap it up now before um, we get uh, John Dobson and Captain. Thank you very much, guys.